So let's talk a little bit about the review options in Word. These are used when multiple people will edit a document and you want to keep a track of the changes that are made in the document. So under the review tab there are lots of different options. Um, <clears throat> there are options to insert comments into the document and to track the changes. So here you can start or stop the track changes. Um, the track changes are those edits where someone goes into the text and maybe they delete something and they add something, it will show you that inside of the document. So <clears throat> here if it's got a strike through or a line through it, that means that's been deleted. If it's got an underline, that means that someone's added that. And then you have the comments here on the side and those are, are in the margin if those are showing. All markup means that it's going to show everything um, as far as comments and any other markup in the document. You can choose simple markup, which only shows, for example, the comments. Um, you can choose no markup, and that doesn't show any of the changes that have been made or the comments. Um, you can choose the original, or you can go back and show all markup, for example. So you have different options for what you want to see if you are working on a document. Um, so the uh, show markup also gives you some specific options here that you can select for what you would like to see. So the insertions and deletions would be items like this where someone has added uh, some text or deleted some text and then the comments and if you change any formatting it will also uh, mark that in the document as well. So for example if I have track changes on okay so it's gray it's on so let's just say for example if I centered this then it tells me that that was centered in the document so it also includes the formatting as well. So <clears throat> If I wanted to go in and make some changes to this, um, and let's say the other person has given me this document, they've edited it, and I need to determine whether or not I want to accept that person's edits. So right here, they deleted the through the use of and added the word using. So when we read back through the sentence, we, you know, it's, it sounds fine and uh, sounds good. It's less wordy. So we'll accept that the person inserted the using and deleted through the use of. So you can do this under the review tab. So let's say, for example, I want to keep the word using. So I'm going to accept the this change. Or what you can do is right click on the word and accept that they inserted it. And then we want to accept that they deleted this. So we would say accept this change or we could right click on it and accept that they deleted it. And so therefore you can see that it has um, changed the uh, text of the sentence. And if we wanted to, we could say we resolved this issue or we could go back in and delete that comment if we wanted. So I'll just leave that for the moment. Okay, so in this case, for this one, the other person deleted that is, comma, and inserted this means that. So decided I, I like the original wording that is comma that is they repeat an organization's name rather than this means that they repeat an organization's name which sounds a little wordier um, for example so I want to reject what they deleted and uh, reject what they inserted okay so again you just 
click on it, you can go up here to reject change, or you can right click and reject that they deleted that because we want to keep it. And then we'll reject what the person inserted because we do not want to use what they inserted there. Okay, so <clears throat> in this case, you can see that all of the text is resolved there with the um, with the um, <clears throat> accept the rejecting of those. All right, so if we wanted to go back in and make some edits, um, right here, this is saying that something can actually interfere with the viewer's ability to read. So let's use more concise wording here, such as just the word interfere. So I have my track changes on. So if I highlight actually and press delete on the keyboard, it's going to go in and show where I've deleted that word. So if I send it back to the other person, that person can then decide, do we want to accept or reject um, what I have deleted? Okay, so it, it's the same for any of these. If I wanted to insert the hyphen here, if I delete the space and then insert a hyphen, you can see where the hyphen is right here inserted because it's underlined and then it's deleted the space um, in between. So you can see that you, you know it's fairly easy to go in and uh, make these edits so that someone else can um, can go in and review what you've done. So for example, this says in order to. So if we wanted to make that more concise, we would just say to reduce load time. So we can delete the in order to. Okay. So I've got my track changes on. So if I highlight it and just press delete on the keyboard, that way the next person can come in and we can decide uh, whether or not we want to change the wording in the document. Okay. So if I wanted to stop tracking changes, just go in and, and stop there. Um, and there are lots of other options that you have. You can actually go in and compare two different documents or combine two documents. Um, you can restrict the editing in a document so someone can only edit certain um, features. So there are other, uh, other types of features that you can use if you are working on editing documents with other people. So I hope that I hope that helps to clarify how to use that review tab.